Hello people, today we will uh, try to make this photo. We'll see easy steps how I created in Luminar Neo. But first of all, let's roll our intro. So, I come here, edit, and first of all, let's reset everything in order to start from the beginning. All the filters will be removed and we'll go back to the initial condition. First of all, I come to Enhance AI. I increase it and I use also Sky Enhancer in order to make my sky pop up and give a general good impression of the photo. After that, I come to the Crop AI tool and I choose 16 by 9. And as a general rule of thumb, I want to be two thirds of uh, sky, one third of land, my final crop. So, after that, I come to Essential Panel again to develop and to light. Exposure, I don't want to change it at the moment. Smart Contrast, of course, I increase a little bit. And then I reduce the highlights and increase the shadows. This is the normal procedure that I do every time in every photo. So, let's eyeball it. I believe something like that. It's okay. Then I go down to the color section and I increase the temperature. Not too much, you see this extreme. I go around 7. And I like the tint. I like the magenta color, especially the sunset. The magenta is vital okay and then you will increase also the vibrance to give the colors a little bit warmth so that's it for the develop section i reduce i close it and i go to the landscape you see you have the flexibility to move back and forth without hesitating or say why i go to landscape first and then I go back to details and then again to vignette. No, you use whichever tool you like. So, for me here, the dehaze tool, I will increase just a little bit to take out the haziness. And because I know it's golden hour, I increase it too much, but then I will use a paintbrush mask. I use it like this of course i will use it 100 percent in this part of the picture okay and here on the monument and then what i will do is i will reduce the strength to 60 percent over here so it will be a little like gradual effect that's it you can see before and after of this specific filter before and after if i close it and i want to use it again you can what i made so i return back to the main tools and uh, this time i will use the structure ai what I will use specifically, I will increase the structure, I give it the boost a little bit, but then again I will use it only on the sky because I want to affect only the sky with this filter. As you see, I paint it here. This is how I make my sky pop more. That's it. 
After that, I go to color and again, I increase the vibrance, but not too much, because I already did it, just a small touch. Let's come down to the creative section and choose the Relight AI. And from here, I choose R minus in order to make the colors, everything darker at the back, not here in front. And this is where the depth slider comes into force. If you see, if I increase it too much, it separates the foreground from the background. You see here at the bottom of the picture now it's darker. When I increase that, this bottom part becomes more brighter. So what I need is something in the middle but towards to the end. So I want this to be more bright and this becomes more black. Here in the advanced settings, the halo of course remains 30, but warmth far, I want to make it a little bit blue. So I want my sky here to be, to be blue, coming towards the golden hour, which is golden and the magenta colors. Okay. After that, I come to mood and I choose a lot. Which lot? Santa Barbara. You see how the colors pop. I don't want all this effect. So what I do, I reduce to 80% and I will apply it only in the bottom part of my picture. So this LUT is only applicable in the lower third of my picture and of course on the sunset. You see the mask. So let's see before, after, before, after. After that, I will choose the Orton effect. And again, I will increase it. Too much. But as you already guess, I will add them a paint mask. I will paint only on the bottom, here, on the sunset, and a little bit on the clouds on top. Before, after, before, after. And now I will reduce the effect around 20%. It's okay. Finally, I come here to the test, and this is the trick that I always use. I put this to 20, and then the half of that. So 10, negative this time, in order to make it more realistic. So how much I put here as small details, 20, the half of that will be on the negative side, medium and large. And this gives more realistic approach to our picture. Of course, I will increase the sharpness around 15%. And that's it. The last step is to apply a vignette. This time I will make 60%, 62, but the size I will make it plus 70 because I want only to be on the borders, 75. Let's see. Look at it. Before, after, before, after. It's a little subtle on the corners and guide you towards the middle. And now we finish with this picture. We edit together the picture. Look how it was before. Here is the before, how we start, 
and here is the after. Huge difference. And don't forget how much time we spent to edit this picture. Hope you like it. This is a, a new part of my series in my channel, how I edit the picture. First of all, we start uh, with the landscape and we see the basic tools. I will follow up with the portrait most probably. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe to my channel in order to see the next series, edit the picture with me. Thank you guys. Bye.